I do think that the countries of the region, uh, both the, I would say, near region and a little bit beyond region, have a very strong interest uh, in, in ensuring, uh, you know, uh, that, that uh, we get an outcome in Afghanistan, which is both good for Afghanistan and which is good for the region. Uh, there has been uh, a lot of concern about the relationship because, uh, you know, uh, China has not observed agreements uh, that it had uh, uh, signed up to uh, uh, when it came to our border. Uh, after 45 years, we actually had a border incident with casualties. And, the, uh, and peace and tranquility on the border for any country is is the foundation of a relationship with the neighbor uh, so naturally if the foundation ship has got disturbed so has the relationship what has changed for us uh, if one looks at the issue of terrorism because that was the uh, first uh, concept you brought up. You know, both India and Russia, uh, we are against, you know, fundamentalist thinking, why, you know, radicalization, we are against violent extremism, we are against terrorism. We are pluralistic societies, we have been targeted, both of us. And I don't think for either of us that has changed. I don't think we have changed our position on terrorism, on fundamentalism, on violence, uh, and, and on defending pluralistic societies. What has been our position on Afghanistan? We have both uh, uh, supported, uh, you know, we were very clear 20 years ago, certainly, uh, that we were for a united Afghanistan, we were for a sovereign Afghanistan, we were for an Afghanistan where minorities uh, had, a, had a fair share uh, of representation. We were for an Afghanistan which was at peace with itself and at peace with its neighbors. I don't think that has changed. So if the first principle, the terrorism principle hasn't changed and if our Afghanistan approach hasn't changed, then let us look at what could have changed. Uh, I, I would say, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's important uh, when we look today, uh, and, you know, since you again referred to the erstwhile Northern Alliance, uh, it was not just us, it was also Iran was, was uh, involved in it. And uh, yesterday on my way to Moscow, uh, I actually stopped in Tehran and uh, uh, I had a chance to call on the president-elect uh, Ayatollah Raisi uh, and uh, to meet my counterpart Javed Sarif and clearly we discussed uh, Afghanistan uh, in some, some detail. So I do think that the countries of the region, uh, both the, I would say, near region and a little bit beyond region, have a very strong interest uh, in in ensuring, uh, you know, uh, that that uh, we get an outcome in Afghanistan, which is both good for Afghanistan and which is good for the region. And they are not different, because I can tell you what is good for Afghanistan will automatically be good for the region. Now, if we, whether we have the wisdom to do it, whether we, uh, you know, have the clarity of thinking to do it, I think that is very much up to our generation. So. I, at least from my end, I can say we are quite clear what, what the challenges are. But, you know, in, in diplomacy and in international relations, you never take anything for granted. So you have to keep working at it, keep building partnerships, keep making people understand what are the challenges and what could be the consequences of that.